Let's bring in Eddie Gabor. He is Key Advisors, group owner and author of Common Sense Bull. We also have Zach Hill, Horizon Investments, head of portfolio strategies. Eddie Jim Bullard, St. Louis Fed president, uh, earlier said he hopes front loading rates that 375 to the 4 range this year shows they're going to be serious about fighting inflation. He also seemed to insinuate that the markets are not listening to what the Fed is saying. What's your expectation for tomorrow and your reaction to the 375 4 range this year? So I think that the market has this wrong in regards to the Fed. I think that the market is really positioned for a Fed that's going to pivot or become dovish. And I think it's very clear that we're not close to where the Fed wants to see inflation. So you know, if they come out with a very hawkish speech tomorrow in regards to monetary policy, you know, you could certainly see the volatility pick up to the downside. And I think once we get to September and everyone's back from vacation and volume starts to pick up, that's the biggest risk is I think right now the market is positioned for perfection from the standpoint of a soft landing with a combination of a dovish Fed. So if it's hawkish with a hard landing, that's where the big problem comes in. And this is why we're continuing to stay very defensive with a lot of cash. We want to wait and see what direction they go in. Our money is betting that they tighten higher than, and longer than what the market is actually positioned for. And then we'll have a better entry point in the fourth quarter to dip back into the equity side. Eddie, you were saying that you expect the Fed to tighten for longer than what the market is expecting. How much more aggressive could the Fed potentially get? So I th the, Fed, the market right now is expecting the Fed to pivot and start potentially cutting rates in the beginning part of next year. And I don't see that happening. Let's face it, the Fed doesn't cut rates until the economy is in the tank, the market's in the tank, and we need to inject, inject liquidity. We're far from that right now. And so they're going to tighten after all, or they're going to go ahead and switch their stance from tightening after the wheels fall off. And I hate to be so dramatic, but let's face it. We have a strong dollar that continues to strengthen, which is hurting multinationals, which is going to hurt earnings. We have inflation at 40-year highs. The only way you're going to get inflation in is demand destruction, and you create demand destruction by having a recession. And we are, pro we are right now positioned for a recession. We think we'll have a global recession. This reset will be healthy for the long-term prosperity of the market. But there's a lot more pain that we have to feel first before we can move forward, because, again, the Fed would probably rather over tighten and make sure inflation is down versus not tighten enough and have what happened in the 70s and have a big spike again. They do not want that. That would completely destroy credibility. On top of what we're watching from the Fed, you obviously have the 10 year still above 3%. And then we're also taking a look at what's been happening with the strong dollar as well. How do you position yourself in this sort of environment? So right now we are positioned, we own utilities as well too. Uh, and the interesting thing is when we had this bear market rally, utilities was one of the best places to be, which you wouldn't think you would have in that type of rally. Uh, normally you would think that was a much more of a risk on strategy. So that kind of supported our defensive thesis. Uh, again, you need to be careful with the multinationals right now because of that strong dollar and anything that's interest rate sensitive. We think the 10 year could go back up to three and a quarter percent by October. Uh, we've already seen a big jump from the 2.6 up to where we are today. And we could get a spike in rates on that 10 year tomorrow if the Fed comes in hawkish. So you need to be careful with interest rate sensitivity, uh, number one. And of course, anything with the dollar, because I think you're going to see earnings have to get revised down. Uh, you've got a recession potentially in Europe on top of a strong dollar. It doesn't vote well for them. So again, one of the hardest things to do as an investor is to be patient, to be more opportunistic. Uh, but that's the stance we're taking now because, again, we think these next two months will certainly create some downside risks. All right, got to leave it there, guys. Eddie Gabor and Zach Hill, appreciate you both being here. Thanks.